Well, I'm very happy to be back here for a cameo appearance at the Old Timer Center showing you this stunning Obsidian SL350 R230 series. It's from 2005 with the 3.7, so you don't have any of the balance shaft issues. And the car is unmarked. It's got excellent service history. And with a car like this, with only 44,000 kilometers, you'd expect it to be like new, and it really is. Lovely wheels. You've got a nice set of uh, Continentals on the back. The number plates are not included with the vehicle. They're personal plates, but some premium New South Wales plates will be included. This is, of course, the mid-cycle update of the R230 series. You have the updated command unit you can see there. Beautiful boiled walnut. It is Bluetooth capable. You have to have a little adapter. And you've got the MMI steering wheel there. Unmarked grey perforated leather with lumbar support. Doesn't really look like anybody sat back here. The door sills have this lovely SL logo and it is illuminated when you open the door. Large opening doors with integrated map pockets. Huge deep storage there. Power memory for the passenger as well. Every which way adjustable. Original floor mats. You've got your first aid kit under the seat there. You do have your wind deflector with the car as well, which is very nice if you're out on the highway. And behind that is the roll bar, which you can raise and lower manually with the Vario roof. When this car debuted, it was the fastest folding hardtop convertible in the world. And even the new SL, there's a comparison on the internet. It's only a few seconds ahead of it with folding speed. You can easily do it at a set of traffic lights. Along the front, being black, it's very hard to keep black paint in excellent condition, and this really is. Headlights are clear, no sun fading. It's clearly been garage kept. You've got the Parktronic system, of course, which is the sonar guided parking sensors at the front, and they are at the rear, and you have the fog lights beneath that. The lovely signature SL air vents, harkening back to the 300 SL of the 50s. I'll show you on the driver's side, and it's all following suit. Again, you've got your map pocket in there. We keep the service books and all the manuals in there with the spare key. If you'd like to see some of the service history, it is available in the photo section. Leather wrap steering wheel. Auto headlights, and you can even see you've got the headlight washing feature there. Behind the seat here, this little button, you can move it forward. You can access even more storage on this parcel shelf. Miscellaneous items. And simply touch this button. And it will go back. We'll hop in now, we'll start it up. As you can see, command system there. Lovely cup holder there. That SR light isn't on just because I had the key in the ignition. As you can see, the only light there is the seatbelt light, which I'm not going to put on. 44,757 original documented kilometers from new. I'm gonna put the roof up for you now, so you can see just how quickly it raises. like a robotic dance. I didn't time that, but that felt like, I don't know, 15 seconds. Give it a bit of a rev for you. It just sounds so fresh and throaty. And another nice thing about this car over, say, the SL500 is the fact that this does not have the ABC air suspension which is a bit of a nightmare when the car gets to this age. This is much more reliable, conventional setup, 
bulletproof. And of course, with these Ks, you'd expect it to ride like new. A very light tint on the windows as well, which is very nice. Being black, it's all important when the Australian summer happens. And again, you have the security of a Vario metal hardtop roof. So you can park the car outside. You can drive it in the rain and you don't have any of the security concerns of a convertible. These are ridiculous value now, considering what they cost new. This was well into the $200,000 range back in 2005. And for what you can pay for it now, uh, there's not a lot on the market that can compete. SLs are a commodity. They are always hot. Everybody loves to get in on a good one, especially a low kilometer example. And this has taken its depreciation hit. It should hold its value very well moving forwards. Once again, we are the Old Timer Centre, located at 101 Illawarra Road, Marrickville. You can visit the website www.old.com.au. That's old.com.au. For any further information and all our contact details. Thank you for watching.